All right, let's look at the summary part of the English. So when you get a summary, it is very important to read the instructions. The instructions are always exactly the same, um, but this part of the instructions. Okay, read the passage carefully. Yes, we know. Okay, write down seven tips on how to become a comedian. So nothing else is important. The, only the seven tips are important. So with seven, um, seven tips and 60 words means that every sentence that you write down must be less than 10 words. And write your full, uh, full sentences, use your own words, and indicate the number of words at the end of your summary. So that part is always exactly the same. Sometimes it's different amount of words, but that part's always the same. The important part is what do you need to summarize? Seven tips on how to be a, a comedian. So we need seven points. Now, before you start reading, look at this. There is, I'm just pointing at the screen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight paragraphs. Usually, the first paragraph is just an introduction. So we're not going to take anything from the first paragraph. We're going to start by taking things from the second paragraph. And then there's seven paragraphs left, which means it's one sentence from each paragraph. Um, we're looking for tips. So um, only look for the tip. Don't look for the stuff around it. Okay, so let's read this. No amount of helpful tips or discussion um, can take the place of experience. Comedy is a learn-by-doing art form. You would have, um, sorry, you wouldn't know um, what works and what doesn't until you've got up on stage. Introduction. We don't use any of that. Usually, the kind of things that they're looking for, like seven tips, is usually um, sentences that starts with verbs. So if you're unsure, look for the sentence that starts with a verb. So even if you're working up new material, don't forget to keep your old stuff fresh. There is always room for improvement. Go back every once in a while and punch up older jokes with new tags or punchlines. So what is the key thing here? We've got two sentences that starts with verbs. Don't forget to keep your old stuff fresh and go back every once in a while. So the one sentence explains the other sentence. But you have to write it in your own words. So they say, don't do this. But you want to write tips to comedians. So then you say, you must. So there's always three types of things that, um, three types of sentences here. We've got don't. We've got um, it is. And we've got sentences that starts with verbs. But now if you're giving a tip, you don't say, don't forget this. You say, you must this. And if you say, you must, and they say don't, then yes, it is in your own words already. So then look at the next. So don't forget to keep your old stuff fresh and go back every once in a while to punch up older jokes. Those are the two th sentences you're going to use, and you're going to rewrite that in one sentence, less than 10 words. So I'm going to say, you must go back to your old stuff to keep it fresh. 
Okay. Then, so when when you you when you're sitting with your reader, tell her to read the first. Okay, read the first paragraph. Go, yeah, that's introduction. Next, and then she reads the second one, and then you say stop, and then you look for the sentences that starts with verbs or that has a tip in it, and then you write it down. Number one, this is what it is, and then tell her, all right, now read. Um, the next paragraph, don't steal, just don't. Don't even borrow or rephrase. It's never cool, and it will end your career as a stand-up very quickly. So there we've got it very boldly in the first words. Don't steal. But we want a nice full sentence, so say, don't steal, don't steal other people's jokes. Or don't steal other people's work. Or something like that. And then you write it down. And then you tell her, now read the next one. Um, always be sure to stay within the time slot given to you by a promoter, club manager, or open mic organizer. It is rude and unprofessional to go longer than your allocated time. So we basically just take that whole thing and say it in our own words. You must stay within the time or within the allotted time. So just because you're not supposed to quote doesn't mean you can't use their words. Use the words they use, but just change up your sentence structure and then you're not quoting. Okay, so now you tell her, please read the next one. Take a video. Oh, taking a video will enable you to go back and watch yourself to see what worked and what needs to change. These are things you probably won't be aware of in the moment. So, taking a video. So how can you say that in your own words or just take the whole thing and make one point? Taking a video will help you fix mistakes, something like that. But the key thing here is take video. And then why must you take video? Okay, then here, try, that also starts with a verb, try to get out and see as much live comedy as you can. With every comedian, you are going to learn something new. So, you must go see other live comedians. All right. And then you can tell her, now you can read the next one. Um, you never know when or where Comic inspiration is going to strike. So now comes the always, which is also, ha, ah, there's a tip here. Always, important, things starting with verbs, you must. Okay, so always be ready to take notes or jot down ideas. Before you know it, you'll have the rough beginnings of an act. So what do you, should you do? You should, you must um, always take notes. Okay. Or you can even, yeah, that's fine. You must always take notes. Um, you want to perform stand-up because you're funny and you love it. And those are the most important things you need to be. Be true to yourself. So there we have the important. And be starts with a verb. Be true to yourself. So how can you put that in your own words? That's a tricky one, eh? You must be yourself. There we go. There we've got seven tips. Seven paragraph, one from each paragraph, and then when you're done, you can ask your reader to read through the text again 
And while she's busy reading, you look at your answers and go, yeah, cool, I got that one. Yeah, cool, I got that one. And then go through it again. Always go through again. Very, very important. And then you count your words and you write down how many words you've got at the end. If you then see, oh, I've got more than 60 and I'm only supposed to have 60, then go see where can you take the I must out or the you must out. Because those are extra words just so that we can put it in our own words. But the, then instead of saying you must, then you can say, like if, if they start a sentence with a verb, then you don't. So, for example, here we've got don't steal. You can change to never steal because that's your own words. That's not what they said. Or if they say always be sure to stay within your time slot, then you can start it. They started with always, but you can start it with a verb. So then you can say stay in what other word oh, we said for time slot? We can look here. Stay in your allotted time. Or you can say, don't go over time. All right. So always for, with most, most, not, if this is not always going to work, but with 90% of your summaries, look for things that is a command that starts with a verb, um, do's and don'ts, and always an important. And if they use the one, then you use the other one. All right. And that is basically that for summaries. I hope you do very well. It's If you practice summaries well, it's 10 free marks. You might lose some marks with language, but if you keep your language super simple, like never steal other people's work, then it's very difficult to lose language marks because you're not trying to construct these crazy hectic sentences in your brain. All right, that's it.